How are you? You all right? Mate, how bored are you? Yeah, I am. Just sitting wallpaper and that. Is it? Oh, yeah. The little one there, looking beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mate, spit you. Hello. How's things, mate? How's things? Obviously, yeah, not bad. Oh, good. We know that your date was looking like May or early June or something like that. Yeah. So, obviously, now, probably looking like the back end of the summer. Yeah. Straight in. I mean, you're a guy who generally boxes twice a year if the fight's yeah. big enough anyway. So mm -hmm. maybe not the biggest delay, but still frustrating nevertheless. Yeah, it's frustrating. Obviously, I got it. I got in, started camp, started training, and had aiming for me. And then when this happened, it's kind of, if I knew exactly when I was aiming for, it probably wouldn't be as bad. But I don't even know what month to aim for, never mind what, what date. So it's a bit frustrating, but we're all in the same position. Everyone's in the same boat. We've all just got to just keep, keep ticking over, ready for... When we do get the green lights, to just all, all, I think it'll be a, a lot of shows back to back. So you've got to just be ready for one of them. I think I was just saying, like a lot of people, I think although you're in that position anyway, fighters are going to be looking to jump into bigger fights sooner now because they've lost half the year anyway. We know it's a short career anyway, but for you, that's kind of irrelevant because you want that, the biggest yeah. fight possible anyway. But it's now than anyway. I've always wanted the, the biggest fight possible, the best fights out there, and I still stand by that now. The minute the boxing gets get the green light to go. We talk about the Canelo stuff. I mean, obviously, we spoke every day during that period. It was one day you were getting it, one day Billy was getting it. Now, maybe none of you will get it. But, it's, you know, at the time, everyone was concentrating so hard on that Cinco de Mayo fight with Canelo. Now, even that one's up in smoke as well. But yeah. how was that for you? Because I know, obviously, having to update both sides and stuff like that. And I think if it's any consolation, you played it perfectly anyway. Yeah, you know, put a number together which you know probably undervalued you in the fight anyway. But you you wanted that fight and were prepared to pay maybe less money than you thought you, you deserved for that. Yeah, it was it was a weird situation because obviously it was an exciting situation to be in. Oh, you know, you're in a fifty fifty chance of landing the biggest fight possible. It was also frustrating. It dragged on for quite a long time and. But it's one of them. I didn't get the fight, but I've no regrets. I don't have and I could to get the fight. I even lowered my number to to lower than what. I believe they were ending up paying Billy Joe and he never got the fight. So I just don't think I was ever getting the fight anyway. But to say it was exciting at the time being in the negotiations, but it is what it is. There's there's other fights out there for me. Well, before we go on to the future, I want to just go back to the last fight as well. Great fight in Liverpool with John Ryder. A lot of people didn't give him a chance in that fight. You knew it was going to be a tough fight. A lot of people thought that fight could have gone either way. Have you watched it back? You thought on the, the result, the performance particularly. And, yeah. and, you know, your thoughts about that November fight? Yeah, I watched it back straight away the next day just to have my own opinion on how we want to come out saying what I thought of it when I hadn't really watched it back. And it was kind of similar to what I thought on the night. Obviously, mass I was massively disappointed in my own performance, but I thought the result was the right, right results. It was a lot closer than what it probably should have been and what a lot of people expected. But I won the fight, in my opinion, and I'll still stand by that. Obviously, it's difficult not to give John Ryder the credit as well, but yeah. if you do feel like you underperformed, do you feel that was a case of you know, a mixture of John Ryder being maybe overperformed yeah, and also be over you being yeah, under-motivated for that? For, I mean, I, you know, I don't yeah, I think it's a bit of everything. It's hard to put your finger on one thing. Oh, there's a few things I didn't perform my own, to my own standards, but John Ryder was very good. Probably the best John Ryder we've ever seen. So when I say underperform yourself, it's not taking anything away from John. He, he done what he had to do. It was the biggest fight of his career and he turns up and he delivered and that's all you can ask from from him. I just feel the best version of me beats the best version of him. I asked, I asked Danny Jacobs the question the other day, which was, I don't know if you saw yeah, it. Too, it. Yeah, How well, did he rate the, the super middleweights as well? But yeah. I want to get your opinion on the other champions as well. There's three other champions outside yeah. here, of course, Benavidez, Plant and Billy Joe Saunders. How do you yeah. rate those three? In terms of ability, it's oh, Danny, Jacobs, someone... Danny Jacobs is watching. He's just giving us a wave. Yeah. So you might be fighting him next. Yeah, yeah, I thought, that's a good fight. It's a very good fight. By watching it, it sounds like he wants one more after weight before mm -hmm. a big one. But it is a fight I'd love, and it's hard to split the other champions. I think they're all unbeaten, and they're all very different stylistically. I think you know, obviously Billy Joe's talented, slick mover. He's not the biggest for the weight, but he's skillful. Plan to go move it, but good boxing ability. I don't think the biggest puncher where Benavidez probably doesn't have the boxing ability, the other two, but he's the biggest puncher out of them and probably the most spiteful. So, fight with either of them, they're all tough fights, but they're all tough fights in completely different ways. The style is definitely very different, but 
or three very good fighters and fights I'd love to fight, whether it's 2020 or 2021. So we'll talk about Daniel Jacobs because he's online and watching mm -hmm. as well. But yeah. great fight for you, one that we've talked about as well. Definitely one I can see happening. And a big fight in America as well. We know we looked at the Anfield yeah. fight for the summer and it's a big UK fight as well. I know Danny would love to fight in the UK, but that's also a big fight for Madison Square Garden or New York particularly. Yeah, it's a it's a massive fight. You know, I've got a lot of respect for Danny. He's, he's a he's a he's a big name. Both Are you saying that just because he's online? Or? No, I've always said that he's a good fighter. <laughs> I like him inside the ring and outside the ring. You know, he, he seems like a gentleman. And he's a good fighter, former two-time world champion. I believe I'm the best in the world at one six eight, and I beat anyone in the division. And he's got a big profile in the in the states and in the UK. So it's definitely a fight. And if I can't get a fight with another champion in unification fight, then it's probably the fight that makes sense more than any other one. Mm. So if I could give you your dream, but I know that take, let's take Canelo out of the picture right yeah. now. And by the way, with everything going on in the world, you can't even rule out that you end up getting the Canelo <laughs> yeah. fight next. But if you could one. fight one of those champions, who would you pick in the 68 division? <laughs> any, any, whatever one can be made. They say the three of them are probably as good as each other. They're all good fights and they're all world champions. So I it's... do think you, you against Billy Joe is a great fight for British boxing. But I do yeah, think... that's probably the biggest fight is domestic. But, but but I do think you against Benavidez is a brilliant fight. Yeah, Two yeah I think that's an exciting fight. Two, Two big ones for the weight, and think it'd be be a good fight to watch. That's probably the best one to watch stylistically. Mm -hmm. Well, mate, listen, thanks for coming on. Um, Love to the family. And uh, uh, in touch soon. Thank you lot. Stay ready. Stay yeah, ready. Yeah, I will do. I will. Right, See, you later. Later. Cheers, mate. See you later.